Hi there, and welcome to this session looking at TAMS observability and integrating vRealize Operations Cloud. Okay, so we're going to start off in our VMware Cloud Services portal, which gives us access into the vRealize Operations Cloud product, and we need to configure an API token so that we can access the product uh, from the uh, TAMS observability. So we're going to click the drop down, we're going to go to My Account, and where you can see your name there. Then going to go to the API tokens tab. We're going to click on generate token. We're going to give this a name. So I'm going to call out as beeducate.co.uk is my blog name. We need to have organizational member access. And then I'm just going to filter this search by the word operations. And then we also need to open this out and add in VROPS read only permission as well. And then click generate. And that's going to give us an API key. You need to copy that down and keep it somewhere safe because you won't be able to get access to that. But you can click into existing uh, tokens and click regenerate if needed. And that's it from this side of life. We don't even have to log into VRealize Operations Cloud. So in terms of observability, we're going to go to the integrations tab. We're then going to find the operations integration. So I'm just going to type in the word operation. So we can see here, vRealize Cloud Operations. Obviously, I've already set this up in the background just to save me some time, um, but we're going to still go through that with steps. So we've got the overview. We're going to click on the Setup tab, and then you're going to click to create an integration. In that integration, we are going to give it a name, and then you're going to paste in that API token, and then you're going to tell it the resources to fetch at the moment. So that's the cluster compute resource and the data stores. You can also uh, uh, filter on what metrics are allowed to be collected from the uh, VROPS Cloud instance. That is fully documented on the TAMS observability uh, documentation page. Um, for this demo, I'm just gonna collect everything. Um, we can set the refresh rate and that VROPS URL, to be honest with you, so far in my, my usage of VROPS Cloud hasn't changed. It's always that static uh, address and then your access is governed by that API key. We'll click back on there and we can see I've already uh, created the VHK hyphen VROPS one here, which is active. If I click into that, we'll see it's the exact same once we've created this, apart from now that API key has been changed into an organization ID of how it references it to get access to that in the back end system. What's going to happen now is these boxes here for metrics and content are actually going to be gray for a while, but eventually after about five to 10 minutes, those are going to change to green with little ticks. If we go into the metrics environment, you're then going to start to see how many metrics per second are pulled into the system. And we can also then start to filter all of the available metrics uh, and chart them out as well. So I'm going to type in the word contention here. And then although you can't see this and it doesn't kind of uh, show you like a tooltip of what that fully says, this one is contention CPU resource, uh, CPU uh, uh, max VM CPU contention C on the system and CPU capacity contention. We've also got some memory ones here as well. I can then hover over any of these and in true VROPS fashion, then gives me a little pop out to show me all of that data. And it's also going to chart that time series that I'm hovering over at the minute into the other um, uh, other graphs available to me as well. But this isn't where we typically go to for metrics inside the system. This is to kind of see what's collected and what data is there. But then we're going to focus around the area of dashboards. By default, the dashboard will not be installed either until you manually install it yourself or metrics for this integration and collected by the system. It auto installs that dashboard. For VRL's operations cloud, we only have the one dashboard. So we're going to take a look at that now. At the top, we can filter by time, and if we want to continue to update with live data being brought into the system, we can then filter on organization IDs, so those organizations where VROP sits, the vCenters that it's monitoring, the clusters that it monitors, and the data store. And then you can see all of the other components there, such as bringing through that badge health at a vCenter server level, cluster level, things like CPU uh, remaining, capacity remaining, data store health, how many BMs we're monitoring and the workload badge in the environment as well. So you can see that's kind of bouncing up and down as it stands at the moment. And at the bottom, we've got some cost information as well. But this is showing kind of all uh, overall percentage of allocation of that cost in the environment. If I hover over that, I can actually see the uh, cost themselves for each cluster within each of those vCenters. Next, because this is a really great uh, dashboard out of the box, but we want to bring some more of those metrics in that we know are being collected by the system. So let's look at how we do that. 
So the next piece we're going to look at then is uh, edit, cloning and editing that dashboard. So we can do that by clicking three dots in the top right hand corner. So we click on clone. We then give it a new name. So we're going to call this the Educate uh, VROPS demo. And you'll see there for the URL, it's going to auto complete that based on the name that I've provided, but add in uh, hyphens and spaces. But we can have a different URL for the name as well. If I click clone, that's going to take me into the editing of that clone dashboard. And I can change that name in the top corner. We see everything that's available now. Uh, v Real Tons Observ uh, sorry, Tons Observability splits this into what's called sections. And then with each section, you had your charts and your data. So I scroll to the bottom, we've got a section here. It's actually not named, it's named section 21. I'm going to change that to the word costing because it shows our costing data. And then I'm going to click on new section and add a new section below. <clears throat> and we're going to call that sustainability. And then I'm going to add a new chart. So the first chart I'm going to add in. Um, again, we're going to give it a name. So I'm going to call this one CO2. And um, we've got live sampling turned on. So it's going to follow the date range and pull data, live data from the system as we write these queries. I'm going to add in a axis plot name here at CO2. And then in the data, I'm going to go to integrations. V Realize Cloud, uh, uh, V Realize Operations Cloud. Click in the VROPS VMware folder, computer cluster resource, scroll down to sustainability and select CO2 emission there. Do we see that no data kind of gets added at the minute? So actually just to make this easy for me today, I'm just going to add in that field to put it into my org ID, but we can search across multiple org IDs as well. If I hover over that now, we can see that we we're getting data in here, but actually only one vCenter has been plotted out with CO2 data. And that's coming from VROPS itself because my other v sensors are actually nested v sensors so there is no power data there so that's that's perfectly fine and then once we go through we can change the format we can change axis and unit levels unit labels rather we can add legends in place i'm going to add a fixed legend in here so now we can see and it'll highlight as we add over that legend you can add a drill down so information uh, a drill down link so you can click through into another dashboard from this chart a description so we'll call this be educate uh demo uh, co2 we can add in anomaly detection which is a really great feature of tons of observability but i'm not going to go into any length today but i really urge you to check it out through the documentation and then in advance we can uh, talk about how we handle obsolete uh, metrics that are not reporting in the system but still there as data do we want to show them i can change the time chart window as well does it follow the dashboard that it's part of as a chart or is it hard coded into this chart as well I'm going to save that and we can see that's been added in and then we'll quickly add a second chart as well so we're going to call this power usage very similar method to what i talked about before so integrations Realize cloud vmware cluster compute resource sustainability and we'll do power usage if i really wanted i could have actually charted both metrics out on the same uh, chart if i wanted but then it becomes a little bit messy we'll add a legend in as well just to make that a lot easier and then we can see that happening on here as well and I'm going to click save there and then we can see this other uh, chart being added in. And I'm going to drag and drop that to be on the same. And I forgot to give that a name. So let's go back and do that now. So power usage, click save. Perfect. Um, and we can scroll across and I can see the raw data that kind of is brought past by that legend. And we can edit that legend to what data has been shown there too. And I'm just going to click save up on this dashboard. And now we're in my live clone of this dashboard as well. If I go to the bottom, you can see I've got the costing name here, I've got sustainability. I can actually use these sections to uh, 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 remove some of that data from the view, just to kind of like really focus on what I'm interested in. I can do direct links to um, non-live sections as well if I want to share this out to other uh, users of the Observability system as well. And then again, as I hover that over, I can see all that data being brought through. So that was a really quick, uh, and simple overview of getting started with the integration between VRealize, Operations Cloud, and Tons of Observability, and then just editing that live dashboard uh, to bring in some extra metric data there as well. Thank you very much.